Hello everyone, I'm Megan Sullivan and welcome to my first impressions video for Theat Rhythm Final Bar Line for both the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 5. Yes, I tried the game out on both consoles. If you like this review, please, please give this video a like and this channel a subscribe and I'll keep bringing you all the RPG and history goodness right here at Meg Sullivan. Okay, so what is Theat Rhythm Final Bar Line and what do I think of it? Well, it's a rhythm action game packed with almost 400 music tracks from across the entirety of the Final Fantasy series. And there's DLC coming that promises more songs from classic RPGs like Chrono Trigger, Nier, Live Alive, Live Alive, Live Alive? Did we ever resolve that? And more. At any rate, in Final Bar Line, you use magic keys to unlock 15 Final Fantasy worlds where you can participate in music-based battles that pit pint-sized versions of your favorite Final Fantasy characters against equally small and cute monsters. Whenever the monsters are defeated, your Warriors of Light accumulate Rhythmia, needed to power a crystal that has the ability to banish evil from the world, or something. And that's it. I think I might have just explained the entire plot. Each world features three types of stages, battle music stages, field music stages, and event music stages. And each music stage, of course, features music from its corresponding Final Fantasy entry, as well as the main characters from that game who have their own skills and abilities that can be equipped before a fight. For example, Cloud can use his armor break ability to deal low damage to enemies while lowering their defenses. Snow can cast protective spells like Shell and Protect that make enemy hits a little less painful. Aerith can cast healing spells. And Yuffie has an ability that ups the chances of finding a Summon Stone that allows you to call one of Final Fantasy's famous summons into battle to do extra damage. These different abilities, which are triggered under specific circumstances, are helpful for targeting an enemy's weakness or surviving music stages with effects that dole out extra pain to your characters. Enemy and ally abilities definitely add some welcome RPG mechanics and strategy to the gameplay, but if you find yourself unsure about which abilities to equip before a battle, don't worry, there's a handy optimized feature that you can click on that will do it for you. Or, you know, you can just check out an enemy's stats in the pre-battle menu and judge for yourself. Although to be honest, since these attacks and spells are all tied to how well you perform during a music stage, the only thing you really have to worry about is staying on beat. If you do, you'll win the stage and get a ranked score, and if you clear a music stage's quest, which requires fulfilling certain parameters in battle, you'll get special items that can help you on your journey. These items do everything from letting your characters gain levels faster, which unlocks more powerful abilities, to giving characters a stat boost in the form of collector cards, to healing your characters when they're getting thumped by enemies. You'll also get more superfluous awards like Moogle costumes and airship designs, but that's neither here nor there. So with all that said, what do I think of the At Rhythm Final Bar line? Well, like its predecessors, this game is super addicting. It's just so fun jamming out to my favorite Final Fantasy tracks and trying to get every single beat perfect for that perfect score. And for the most part, the beats really feel intuitive. So if you know a song really well, you can immediately understand how the beats are going to hit and when to trigger them. Now, to be honest, that's not always the case, especially when you crank up the difficulty. The developer threw in a few notes here and there where I had a hard time figuring out how they harmonized with the song that was playing, and it threw me every time. Even when I use the autoplay feature, which is a great mechanic for when you want to know what a perfect scored song sounds like, I was still side-eyeing the decision to include some of these notes. And just like in Theat Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call, a game I reviewed for IGN years ago, I felt like the sliding notes in the field music stages were somewhat finicky. At first I thought since my Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons have a serious problem with drifting, that maybe that was the issue. But when I played the game on the PlayStation 5, it was the same thing, and it didn't help that some sliding notes were not clearly marked as either up or down. They were almost neutral. It made it really hard to get a critical hit because I couldn't make heads or tails of which direction to flick the joystick. And critical hits are needed to get a perfect score, and I want a perfect score. There is good news, however. The developer offers a number of accessibility features that help make things easier, which I really appreciate. 
For example, you can slow down the button trigger speed, which gives you more time to read what's coming. You can fade out the background so you can concentrate on just the notes. You can even get rid of the more complicated button input and just tap one button to the beat. These settings can make even the hardest difficulty mode passable if you have the patience to practice the songs you want to master. Well, maybe. Along with Basic, Expert, and Ultimate, there's now a fourth difficulty mode called Supreme, and it is really, really hard. But even if you crank the difficulty down all the way to Basic, the game can still be really tricky. Luckily, there's also a Practice mode that lets you test your might without actually having your team lose a battle, another feature I appreciate. Now, I want to be able to comment on extra features like multiplayer battles and playing on local co-op, but I wasn't able to find anyone to play with, and I think multiplayer might actually be gated off, so I can't really comment on those. And for some reason, during the demo, you can't access event music stages or the endless world mode, where you attempt to clear songs that get increasingly difficult to complete, which is a bummer because I would have liked to try those as well. Also, you can only access 6 stages, 30 songs, and 30 characters in the demo, which means I couldn't rock out to my favorite songs from Final Fantasy 4 and 10. That's okay though, it gives me something to look forward to, and yes, I am probably getting the full experience. Although not entirely flawless, the At Rhythm Final Bar Line is a joyous celebration of Final Fantasy music and feels like something I could play for hours and hours with a big smile on my face. What did you think of the demo? Let everyone know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you later!